What's going on mobile gamers? Today we're going to be taking a look at Citra Nightly versus Citra MMJ. The reason why? Well, it's because of you. Alright, so the reason why I'm doing this, again, for a part 2, this is only going to be the last part I do for at least this device, the Rectroid Pocket 3 Plus, is because there's been speculation whether or not to use Citra Canary or Citra Nightly versus the Citra MMJ for Android. And I've done vigorous testing, testing on this. And today I'm just going to show you one game, which is Super Mario Bros. or the new Super Mario Bros. 2 game for Nintendo 3DS. Now, again, I have done multiple different tests with Citra Nightly and Citra Canary. They're both the same thing, if you guys really want to know. Yes, one of them is a newer build where the Nightly is literally the Nightly build, which is what it means is that... They've worked on something. Canary is the one that's sitting there waiting to be approved for the next update. And they update this constantly, almost every other day it seems like, or every day. Now, the latest build that I'm using is Citra Nightly version 2024 or whatever. I guess it's the latest build as of 13 hours ago. Today is November 4th. And you're going to see... A lot of issues with this, and it's just not the greatest build whatsoever for at least the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus. I did test this on my Odin Pro as well, and still had the same results. I had a little bit better performance, but not anything that I can say the least is great. I tested this with uh, four times resolution on my Odin Pro against the Citra MMJ version. Citra MMJ, in the end, is the one that I'm always going to choose. I don't want to sit there and tinker around with stuff non-stop. I've tested multiple different games with Citra MMJ, and these settings that I'm setting up for this specific device, which is the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus, are shown on screen here while I'm talking, so that you guys can see that I'm setting everything up basically the same and testing out both of these emulators for this game. I didn't finish playing Citra Nightly game because it just was too annoying to me graphically, but I started playing it. I let it play till the first level and you'll see what I'm talking about when we get to it. Now I'm going to drop the music when the game starts playing so that you guys can hear everything for the game as well. First, we're going to start off with the one that I know that works. This one works great. Not sure why people want to argue about that. I have already done lots of testing with multiple different devices that I own, including just some Android phones. So enjoy. You can be the judge by the end. Comment below. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. I am still doing the GameCube and PlayStation 2 comparison. Now, the game has started, so I'm going to stop talking. Bye-bye! Thank you. 
So, as you can see, I think MMJ works out fine. We are going to go and test Citra Knightly now, and you're going to be so baffled to see how bad Citra Knightly is, in my opinion, compared to Citra MMJ when it comes to Android devices. Now, Citra on the computer works perfectly fine in my testing, at least for my device or my computer. Whereas this version, I've tested even Vulkan as the back end. I know people are going to probably be like, what about Vulkan? Well, Vulkan, yeah, it doesn't work any better whatsoever. I'm not going to test that out for a video again. I'm doing OpenGL just because OpenGL is the back end for the Citra MMJ. And I've looked at the source code for this. And yeah, there's been people that have requested Vulkan as the back end. So that being said, the beginning of this game setup. You can already tell that this version of Citra is a lot slower, and Citra's Canary is no different. Uh, for those that want to ask, it's no different. I did a setup guide for this. But yeah, right here, I'm like, what the heck is going on? This isn't even loading, and then it finally does load. But then it does this again, and who wants to sit through that? You don't want to sit there waiting for shaders to compile you, all that stuff. It doesn't do any different when you re-navigate back to the game. Now, again, here we are again, just sitting here waiting, 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 and yeah, I'm just going to let it play through. You guys can watch this. Enjoy. Have fun. Do whatever you want. I'm still going to share what I think is best. I wouldn't share what I think doesn't work or whatever. Anyways, bye. This is the end for me talking. See you later. Enjoy. Go game. Have fun watching the rest of this. Or don't. Bye!
Nintendo. Oh no!